Good morning, I hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens, I'm in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. And today we're gonna go on a food tour, but we're especially gonna uh, try to seek out and find some of the lesser known Ethiopian food dishes. I'm gonna meet up with Sammy, he's a journalist here in Addis. Uh, he's gonna show us around, we're gonna go around and we're gonna share all the food with you in this video right now. And Sam is a you're a journalist with yes. the newspaper. Yes, and then local journalist. Okay, and and also you do some freelance writing. I do. I uh, write for CNBC in South Africa, oh, and I right. blog for the Huffington Post. Where are we heading to now? We're going to Sabata, just outside of Addis, in the outskirts of uh, the capital of Ethiopia. And they're known for for uh, traditional um, food and um, ha the honey, uh, the wine, the Ethiopian oh, wine, awesome. which is uh, almost unknown outside of Ethiopia, but it's something to look forward to. Very cool. So that's where we're starting off this Ethiopian food tour. About a 45 minute drive, we made it to an area of town, a very local area. This is where we're gonna find some of the food. <laughs> Salama, salama. Anytime in Ethiopia when you see meat hanging in the butchery, you know you can get all of the Ethiopian meat dishes including the dulet and the, the raw meat. Uh, but they have, I think it's mostly beef here. Uh, they're slicing it up here, you order here, you get the beef. They, um, and then if they, I mean if they, if it's raw, they just like slice it up and serve it to you on a plate and it goes directly to your table. But if they cook it, then they take it back to the kitchen uh, and then cook it. But the aroma, uh, you, you know this is a meat restaurant just because of the aroma of that, that meat. Okay, I'm a second, I'll look. <laughs> We got to the area of town and then we just kind of asked around where's the, the meat spot. This is the place we're starting here um, and we're gonna get a dish. Dulet. Dulet yeah. is a mix of organs uh, which we're gonna we're gonna eat here. It's chili, chili powder? Yeah. I'll take into this. Grab some injera. We got the dulet. It's served in the middle of a, a bed of injera and that's a bunch of organs. Uh, all kind of minced up organs. There's probably kidney, there's heart, there's a number of different things. All a mix of lungs. So what you do, you grab a piece of injera, you dip it into the, the dulet um, and then dip it into the chili powder and it's completely raw. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> It's so good. Oh wow, the whole kind of bar just uh, laughed when I, I took that bite and enjoyed it so much. Mm. The Ethiopian butter, you can That's taste that. That's what makes that. it uh, special. That's what makes it like really rich. You can taste the spice blend. You can taste like the kind of like a clove taste to it. Oh man, that's just so good. It's awesome. It just melts in your mouth with that butter. The injera just like holds it together. But yeah, it's delicious. It's amazing. And I love it with that that chili powder as well, which has almost a, a little sour spicy kick to it. Mm. It's amazing. Well, they also just poured us a little bit of their, their in-house, which they make here, mustard, which you normally eat with the, the chunk of raw meat. It's good to eat just with sopping up with injera as well. It's like, it's horseradish, I think. Um, it has, it has the wasabi effect. It goes up your nose a bit. Okay. Very good. How is it? It's very good. We finished with the dulet and it was incredibly good, but then sitting next to us, they ordered the shakla tubes and it looked so good. Uh, that we, we had to order one too, so we're gonna get some shakla tibs, which is the, the cooked meat on a clay little little pan over charcoal. I'm gonna take 
we were asking them if we could take some shots in the kitchen. This is where they cook the meat, but they were really shy and they, they said they, we, we weren't allowed back here. But I just came back and really smiled and said the food was awesome. Uh, but then the, the ladies cooking, they were really embarrassed, so they just all ran out of the kitchen. Uh, but this is the kitchen. They have some oil here bubbling over fire. They have some more fires going. So if you order meat and then they cook it, hello. Um, I was just taking a look in the kitchen. Okay, how to make the... Uh, yes, yes, because I love the food. Yes, yeah, I love the food. Is it... She said, uh, when, uh, when you come another time, yeah. I'll show you myself. Okay, so we've talked to them and then they said I could come in the kitchen. She's frying up some of the shakla tibs right there. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm a second alo. I'm a second alo. Yeah, again, it's beef which they sliced and there's also some bones in there. Uh, they set it into the top of a clay pan and then there's charcoal underneath it so that you, it continues to sizzle and keep hot as you keep on eating. And again, they serve it with injera as well as some of that mustard uh, with some chili powder in it. So again, you grab a piece of injera um, and then you grab a piece of meat and then dip it into the, the mustard sauce. The meat, meat is a little on the tough, chewy side, but it is flavorful, and I do love that mustard, mustard sauce with the meat, meat the chili. This type of meat you might have to chew for a while. It is really flavorful, though. Yeah, that fat just juices with flavor. Um, yeah, the meat that will give you a jaw workout. That is for sure. Hello, man. Thank you so much. That was a great spot, very local spot. Uh, yeah, that was some good meat. To taste the traditional honey. Oh, okay. Traditional honey wine. It's a touch, it's a, it's a honey wine, Ethiopian honey wine. Pour you the honey wine out of a, like, like a pitcher and, and serve it in this awesome bottle. It's almost yeah. a vase. Cheers. Huh? Oh, wow. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> yeah, it's so good. It's like, it, it, it has a little bit of a sour taste to it. But a sweet honey taste. It's almost like, almost it's like the, orange juice. What else is there? What else is there? So one of them was complaining that uh, the price has gone up uh, to nine cents. I'm gonna take another. <laughs> it is really good tasting. You can taste the the aroma of the honey. Um, uh, yeah, that was that was an experience, an Ethiopian experience. Okay, we couldn't find a taxi, so we're, we jumped into a van on our way back to Addis. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, actually, we privately hired the, the van um, and we're on our way. We couldn't find a taxi here, so we're on our way to the... My seatbelt has some problems. Uh, we're on our way back to Addis Ababa. Um, it's always, always an adventure. Part of the adventure. <laughs> made it back to Addis. Uh, we're, uh, that was a, a, an adventurous ride and we are gonna go eat some more here in Addis. Oh, they come together. We made it to a restaurant, it's called El Shaddai Restaurant. 
this is a restaurant that specializes in food from Tigre, which is in the northern part of Ethiopia. Um, and they have some dishes on their menu that are, that are actually very rare to find in Addis Ababa. And we're gonna try a very specific dish. It's called te Teklo. Teklo. Uh, it's a dish from Tigre and it is some injera on the bottom and then I don't know what is, it's like a stew, um, maybe it looks kind of buttery and it looks... Anyway, we'll try and then she has this dough which she makes little bites um, of dough into little dumplings almost and then what you do is you poke it with a stick and then you dip it in and that's how you eat it. And she puts some kind of yogurt, yogurt on top as well. You can really taste the spice blend in there. The little ball dumplings have kind of a, start, a very starchy kind of grainy texture. But that sauce is unbelievable. It's like it's like really rich with spice. It is you can taste the butter in there and then it's like cooled down with the yogurt. Wow, that's that's awesome. That's unbelievably good. Okay, and she just said the balls are wheat. Mm -hmm. And I got some meat in there too. Mm. You know, you can taste um, definitely red chilies. Maybe some cardamom in there. I'm sure it's like a blend of many, many spices. And then with the butter. It's really rich and spicy and incredibly flavorful with these like wheat gummy dumplings. Ah! I use my buddy to, to dry the meat. Is it okay if I put it here? So that's dry meat. That's why it has a really like strong, nice taste. And there's bits of dry meat in here too. Oh yeah, these are Ethiopian chopsticks. But they're more just like stabbers, like you poke them. Mm. That is unbelievably good. This is a totally new Ethiopian food for me, or a food for me that I've never tasted before. That's also for me. Yeah, so even many people in Addis Ababa have never, never tried it, never heard of it. Both of them, it's their first time to try it as well. This dish is just blowing my mind. It's so unbelievably tasty. So many flavors. This is a dish that just has me in awe with every single bite. The meat almost tastes like salami. That was one of the greatest, most unique, I mean unique Ethiopian dishes, but even unique dishes that I've had. Unbelievably delicious. That is gonna go on my list of yeah most incredibly delicious and fun to eat dishes. Wow, that was that was incredible. I loved it. Every single bite of it. Oh, I just made it back to the guest house after an amazing day. Uh, that ending meal though, the tello. Oh, and the doulette. The doulette was incredibly tasty as well. But that ending meal was 
Uh, that was such a unique, such an incredibly delicious Ethiopian food. I'm glad I had a chance to try it. I wanna say a huge thank you to Sammy for taking me around and also a huge thank you to Yamane and Michael for organizing and for uh, giving me some restaurant tips. I'm gonna say goodbye right now. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below, I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, click subscribe and also click that little bell icon. That way you'll get notified of the next video. Thanks again for watching. Goodbye from Addis Ababa.